In this video, I want to explain how to find the gradient of a line uh, when two points are given. Okay, so let's take two points. Say point A, the coordinate the coordinate of point A is 1, comma 2, and the coordinate of point B is say 2, comma 4. So first thing is you have to plot these points. The first number tells you how the x coordinate and the second number tells you the y coordinate. This is also called an called an ordered pair. So from the origin, so this is called this is the origin, you go one across and two up. So this is point A. This is point A, which is a coordinate of one comma two. And coordinate B the coordinate of B is 2 comma 4 that means from origin you go 2 across and 4 up so this point is B the coordinate is this 2 comma 4 and you want to find the gradient of this line so let me draw a line segment use a line tool so what's the gradient of this line what's the gradient of this line so well from left to right it is going up so the gradient has to be positive now that's one thing that you need to know so the gradient so gradient is defined as rise over run gradient the definition of gradient is rise over run so how do you find the rise and how do you find the run so rise over run so you have to basically join these two points and draw arrows to determine what's the rise. So this is the rise and this is the run. So the rise is going up and the run is going to the right. I like to do the notation. So as you're rising up from A to B, how much have you risen? So 1, 2. The rise is 2 and the run is to the right. So you're you, you have run one unit and 2 over 1 is 2 so the gradient is 2 of this line but if someone will say well what if we went down like this okay it's always good to do the rise first and then the run so you can also someone can think like this what if we went from B to A you can go from B to A so let's think from B to A from B to A, so let me write, use a different color. So the gradient, gradient is the formula remains the same, which is rise over run. And let's do the arrows so that you know what number comes. So the arrow is going down, so the number has to be negative. And the rise is going to the left. Okay, so this is down, and this is to the left. So you're going down two units so how do you write down two units you write minus two and you're going to the left one unit so that's minus one and minus two over divided by minus one is also two okay so let's take one more suppose you have got C let's say C is minus one comma six and D is 0 comma 7 0 comma 7 so minus 1 comma 6 is this point this is minus 1 comma 6 which is your point C and 0 comma uh, 0 comma 7 okay so you don't have that point so let's take some other point so let's say let's change this 0 comma 7 is somewhere here so let's take say let's make D as 5 comma 0 5 comma 0 so this point is 5 comma 0 so this is D and the coordinate is 5 comma 0 because you've gone 5 from the origin you've gone 5 to the right and 0 up or down so let's join it by a line line segment so this is the you want to find the gradient of this line segment so I always like to do the rise first and then the run so let me get my pen tool 
So this is the rise. So draw the arrow. So this is the rise. And this is the run. So always write the formula and look at the arrows. Okay, so gradient. Gradient is rise over run. Rise over run. And then do the sign of the arrow. So rise is this is the rise that means the arrow is down and the ri rise over not rise over not rise over rise it's rise over run okay rise over run so the run is to the right so as you are the rise is to down it has to be negative so how much you have gone down so well from 6 you have gone down to 0 so the rise is negative 6 and the run is from minus 1 to 5 so that's all that's 6 and use a calculator negative 6 divided by 6 is negative 1 so the gradient is negative 1 okay so let's finish off with one more let's take a point say this point you can take any point and say this point so this point, say let's say this is E, how do you read the coordinate? This is negative 4 comma 4. This is negative 4 comma 4. And this is F, which is 4 comma 1. 4 comma 1. And then let's join it by line segment. And draw the arrows. Okay, so always so let's use a different color so this you're joining E and F so this is always do the rise first so this is the rise which is going down and this is the run so this is the rise so let me write here so this is the rise and rise is negative because the arrow is down so you got one two three so the rise is negative three and how much is the run the run is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Am I right? So from minus 4 to 4, the run is 8. So the gradient is negative 3 over 8. Okay, so you can use a calculator. So let me use my calculator if you want to write this as a decimal. Negative 3 divided by 8 is negative 0 0.375 so the gradient is negative 0 0.375 it is good to leave the answer as a fraction or if you want to write as a decimal you use a calculator so the gradient is negative 3 over 8